Hi everyone and welcome to a new series on Machine. We're going to be taking a look in this series at Machine's own drum synths. So from the 2.0 update and onwards, Machine has had its own suite of internal plugins that will allow you to synthesize and shape your own kicks, snares, hi-hats and so on. Now there are six different types of drum synth and each one of these synths has their own sub modes as well. So if I click on this area right here on the kick synth, you'll see that there are eight different models available. And each of the different drum synths have their own sub modes as well. So if we go to snare, for example, we've got a selection here. When we go to hi-hat, we've got a selection here. And it goes on this way through all of them. So that's one thing that all these different drum synths have in common. Now, there are other things too. For example, all of them have some kind of tuning. Some of them can actually line up to a musical scale. So for example, this one is tuned to C1, whereas others are tuned by percentage because there's really not enough precision to line it up to the chromatic scale. Finally, they pretty much all have the decay value here, which is just how long the sound plays for. And then underneath this section, they have a tone control area or a sound shaping area. So if I go to the snare, you'll see that is different, but the same principle applies, the same layout applies. Now you can load these different drum synths just by going to your plugin area here, clicking on this plus, and you want to go to internal and drum synth. And so this is where they are. The only one I haven't loaded so far is symbol, so I'm just going to load that. And that's the complete set there, although I do have an extra kick loaded in. Now the other thing that's common to all the drum synths is they can all be saved. So if you make a setting on here that you like, you can go and right click on the sound and go to save as. And we'll just call this kick three. And that sound can now be loaded and brought up at any time. So what you want to do is go to your browser. And what we need to do is go to the sounds. And then go to the user area. And now I can just double click on these. And load whatever preset I've already made. Now of course this is the user area. What's interesting is if we go into the factory content. We have a filter here just for drum synth sounds. And if I activate this, you can see we have a whole lot of sounds here. And these are all sounds made for the drum synth. So if I just double click on this one right here, you can see this is loaded up here with a snare. And also to the right of it, you can see there's a saturator, an EQ, and so on. These are all loaded up along with it. Because when you save a sound, it's kind of like saving a channel strip. You're saving not just the sample or the instrument in here and its settings, but also the different processing that you've put on after it as well. So let me just focus on kick here. So I'm going to load up Dusty Room here. And then go to Maple. And so once you start going through the different presets, you can immediately start to get a feel for what's possible with the different drum synths and the different modes. And so those are the features that the drum synths have in common. What we're going to do in the next video is get specific and start to look at the individual modules and we're going to take a good look at the different modes available as well as the different controls on offer. So welcome to the series, I hope you enjoy it, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.